Unfortunately, when I sanded the rudder here, the dust from the anti-fell went up on top of the deck and underneath the winter storage top. In the springtime, when we took the top down, all that dust was pretty much baked into the gel coat. It took me four days of compound and polish to get it back to normal. What'd you do? I did what we worked on and came up with together. <laughs> Jackass, <laughs> explain. Well, we were gonna stick the vinyl to the side and vinyl does not stick to this. <laughs> so that got kiboshed quick. So we figured we'll make a stringer that runs across there, kind of like a shower curtain. And now we're gonna hook up our tarp to it and pin it to the ground. And I made up these beautiful shower curtain. Those are my beautiful grommets made from staples and tape. And uh, yeah, let's see how this does. Fancy. result not perfect but It'll all they asked everyone's boats <laughs> doesn't look pretty but it'll protect everyone's boats all they asked was for ground coverage so we went the extra mile and we have the vacuum hooked up to the sander this is his working area still some holes in the top but you know what People should be happy. Apparently I'm the only one at the marina that puts tarps up to protect the other boats. It keeps it pretty well contained. And you just keep sliding it down this rope. The last part. Get up under here. And then some finishing touches and some patches. And it's ready for epoxy. So after we got the keel sanded down here, we noticed that we had the famous hunter's smile. That we needed to fix with some G-Flex that we got from the rigging shop nearby. How's it feel to be done the boat, Chris? First coat of epoxy on, everything but the four pads. <laughs> Measure came out real good. And my tape lines are flawless as usual. All right, Chris, where are you at? All right, so we've taken the cover off. Yes. And we've tarped everything off, sanded everything down with all the way down with 40 grit sandpaper. Um, found that we had a couple cracks in the keel. 
fix that. Some G Flex. And now we have one coat of Inner Protect 2000E. Let's have a little look at your patch job. See if we can see that hunter smile. Not so bad. Not so much, eh? It's a rubberized compound, so you can't sand it afterwards. Do you want to show us what it is? Sure. It's a good thing you're organized, Mr. Bush. Totally organized. Good thing you're organized. That's what we patched it with. Cool. Where'd you get that? At the rigging shop in the spare bro. Uh, How'd you get under the pad? Oh, that's a lot of fun. We put temporary stands in. Looks like you got them backwards, eh? Yeah, the guy at the marina said I don't even need them there. They won't tip over. <laughs> So, just for show? They're just for show. Make people feel happy. Cool, cool. A little false sense of security. How'd your uh, first application of sealant go? Uh, not the greatest. I mean, you gotta mix that stuff real well. What'd you so use? So it came out a little bit patchy. How'd you mix it the first time? Uh, with a stir stick. And then what happened? Then, then you bought me this for our anniversary on Friday. <laughs> And I started with that the next day. Way better with that. Very <laughs> good. Much easier on the forearms. Very good. What's with the tape? Blocking off our through holes so we don't paint on them. All right. All right. And smart. Now smart. We're waiting about four days or so, and we'll come back on Thursday. It's Sunday today, and then we'll do the next coat of epoxy. <laughs> We'll be doing that from there down, from our water line down. And once we got that on, we'll wait a few hours and then start with the first coat of anti foul. Right Let that all set up and then we'll do a coat, one more coat of anti foul. And then it's ready to go in the water. As soon as they get the motor put back together, and we get the solar arch on. We can do the solar arch. I really uh. don't want to do it at the club because I don't really want to be welding at the service dock. All right. All right. So explain the process of uh, the pads and what you did. Okay, so the first coat we did, we had all four corners up with the middle ones down. Um, did the first coat, let that all harden up, came back, put the middle ones up, took our temporary stands back here and they were at the front, set them up. Rack strap going between them so they don't pop out on us. And then we can drop down these two. And then we painted those. Came back later that day. Put them back up. Dropped down the back yesterday before we went home and painted under there and gave the rest of the boat a little once over. Because the first coat really wasn't looking the greatest. Now, now I'm very happy with it. So uh what else do you have left that you want to do? Uh, we have anchor chain. What about it? We have an anchor. What's right, wrong with right it? Right now we have only 40 feet of chain. So we've gone out and bought 100 feet of 516 G4 galvanized chain, which should help the two of us sleep better at night when we're on anchor. Um, we need to do the solar arch. We have a guy fabricating that down in Oshawa. A1 mechanical. Um, Got to hook up the second battery bank. Get our solar charger hooked up. That should all be done when we're at the yacht club. Um, yeah, more paint. <laughs> <laughs> Once that's done, I'll start tackling the rest. But the one guy is making the solar arch as we speak, so it should be in in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully we'll be able to show you that on our next video. What is the last step with the painting that you have left to do? With what? The bottom of the boat. What's after, like we got it white now. What's What are we doing with the anti-fouling? 
How's that gonna work we need, out? We need to do another coat of the epoxy coat. Yep. And then while that's drying, after about four hours after we start it, we will start putting the first coat of anti foul on. That way you get a good chemical bond between the two and it's not just gonna fall off on Gotcha. So I've been told. Like I said, <laughs> I, I'm not a sailor. Any, any tips from anyone out there, <laughs> send them our way. Yeah, just leave, leave any tips in the comments below. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Oh, we came up with a name for the boat. What's the name of the boat, Chris? We're going to be changing it. So if you look. Oh, tell us about the name of the boat, Chris. Well, it is River Dance right now. But we have sent off for registration and hopefully it will be called Pineapple. It's hard coming up with a name that hasn't already been registered with the Canadian Transport. So we'll be taking that off soon enough. Get some more stickers made up. I think I know a guy. <laughs> so if anyone wants to tell us the process of changing the name, like there's a ritual apparently, we might have to do a video of the uh, the name change ritual for all those superstitious people. I think we're just supposed to christen it somehow. <laughs> See, we don't know. <laughs> Are you superstitious, Chris? Superstitious. I'm a little stitious, but not superstitious. <laughs> <laughs>